Hey friends, Rob Pip here with another helpful tip. This is involving a refrigerator. If you've got a refrigerator that the compressor will not turn on, this might help you. In my case, I've got a GE refrigerator. It's from 2006. Uh, we're here in 2022, so about 16 years old or so. It's worked really well. I use this one out of my garage, and we had an issue where the power went out while we were gone around Christmas break. I came back, I had ice cream, everything melted, inside of the freezer and I thought man something's going on here with this but it was weird because I would turn it up turn it on and the light was still on and so I didn't think that there was an issue with the I thought maybe it's the compressor on this model and so I went around to the back if maybe there was a fuse maybe a reset switch the compressors down there I didn't find anything down here just for a reference this is a model I believe GTS 18XC. Story short, I was getting ready to throw in the towel on this unit. I said, I really don't know what's going on with it being as old as it is. I didn't want to call anybody out to take a look at it. So tonight I was just cleaning out a few extra things. We lost ice cream, a lot of stuff in the freezer, but it was weird. I went inside, I plugged it back in. It still wouldn't turn on. So I was reading some stuff that said, you know, maybe turn it off, let it sit for a while up here under the temperature control. I tried that, nothing happened. I was re-flipping things around with the ice maker, nothing happened there. And then I noticed something. I got down and I looked, and it was almost like at one point there was a switch here. You can kind of see how stuff looks a little broken there. Maybe there was a switch there. So while I had it open, I literally took my finger, pushed up in here, and heard a click, and guess what? Everything came back on. The compressor came on, the freezer started working, and now everything is working. So maybe in your model, look where your temperature control is and see around if there is a switch. Again, for me, it was right up under here. I just took my finger, pushed up, I heard a click, and everything started working again. It was really weird because the light was on but the compressor was not kicking on. Once I went to that temperature control and found that little switch up there and pushed it up, everything worked fine. This all happened, by the way, after a power outage. Like I said, we were gone for a week around Christmas. I came back, the garage stunk. I saw stuff leaking out of this thing. When I opened it up, ice cream was melted. And hey man, tonight, you know, we fast forward a few weeks. Now I've got a working refrigerator back in the garage again. So again, just look for that switch this on me was a GE model. That fixed it for me. I hope this helps you out. Um, share your model with us. Share your comments and let us know what you did to fix your refrigerator if you had a similar issue. Hey guys, I hope this helped. As always, I like to provide videos. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers on my channel. We'll see you friends. Have a wonderful 2022. Love y'all. God bless you.